Hi y'all, welcome to Dark Angel Knits. It is November 16th, and I am very, very sorry. I wanted to record last earlier this week. I was sick. Um, the reason I didn't record on Saturday or Friday was because computer malfunctions. My, my video refused to go up, and then I deleted parts of it, and... It was chaos. <clears throat> Along with packing to move, it's been pretty crazy. So this is how it's going to be. I'm sorry. Okay. I do have kind of notes. Oops. This one. Alright, so fledglings. What am I currently holding or working on? I'm working on the Holden Chalette by Mindy Wikes. It hasn't received a lot of love this week just because it's been busy. I think I started the lace. Yes, I've got one row in. But it's it's getting there. I don't know how much more love it's going to get for a while. There's lots of stuff coming up and chaos. So that's one. The second thing I've been working on, well, sort of, is the Echo Flower Shawl by Jenny Johnson. I'm not going to pull it out because it didn't get any love. Okay, the Ditto Cardigan by Barocco Design Team, no love either. Hmm, Scallop Dishcloth by Love to Knit. I started it and it's gotten a little bit of love. Not a lot, but a little. It's a wedding gift, sort of. And fifth on the needles is the Cozy Ribbed Hat Pattern by Helen Rose. I just started this on Wednesday. It's going really fast. Just haven't had a chance or felt like knitting for a few days. So, on to the embrace. What have I finished? Hmm, I have a stack right here. Let's see, I finished Margie's hat. It fits my son James. It was supposed to fit me, I think. But it fits him. It looks really cute on him. I'm thinking about giving it to a little girl and putting, um, crocheted shells maybe around the ears on both sides. We'll see. Or flowers. That'll look really pretty. And I finished the mustard scarf by Jane Richmond. And put my button on there. It's done. <sighs> These were done. I tried to show them last episode, but life is crazy. Um, oh yes. I did the barn dish cloth by Emily Jagos. It's finished. I did that pig out cloth by Elaine Fitzpatrick. I did that Billy the Kid by Elaine Fitzpatrick. I also did Rodney the Rooster by Rhonda White. Now those ones are for my son's blanket that I'm making him for Christmas. So I've gotten a couple done. I have a crap ton more to make. Ooh. Sorry for the yawning. Cozy Ribbed Hat by Helen Rose. This one's a wedding gift for my cousin Trevor. I've got his wife's shawl done, and I'll get to the rest of them. I've got two dishcloths. This is just a grandma's favorite dishcloth. Simple. And this one was lace mock, Lacy Mock Cable Cloth by Verano Ray Gib Giberson. She has a really different name. But it went fast and easy. Those are my FOs for the week. It's big chaos. Whew. I seem to be able to knit up the, the little squares or the little dishcloth patterns in about a day, sometimes sooner. But it's going pretty fast. What else can I say? Hunting. What have I been hunting? Hmm, been watching CSI New York, catching up on it. Well, we're on season nine. Not sure I like where it's going. I don't like the thoughts of Mac leaving, but I think that's what's going to happen. Um, I've been watching NCIS, where me and my husband are about season five. We can't seem to stop watching it. That's really addictive. Um, I'm not reading anything. Ooh. Seductions. I have something. Again, I know. Can you imagine me have something? I got my swap package. 
<clears throat> it was from the flat mail swappers group the fish cloth package from Carla 72 she sent me this cute little note two little bags of fish gummies they're little dolphins which I may share with the kids probably will some little memo cards two purple fishes these are super cute I think they're for the tree because I'm not giving them to the cat because he'll just eat them and that was my package which was really cute and thank you Carla72 so do you know what time it is? it's time for big news but wait Ooh, I'm sorry it must be nap time almost well, probably in a little while <clears throat> for the twins anyway I'm going to hold the big news. We're going to do a small book review, okay? Because there's a few things in this book that will be next on the needles. This is Knitted Toys, 21 Easy to Knit Patterns for Irresistible Soft Toys by Fiona McTagg. I think that's how you say her name. I got this book at uh, the Antique Warehouse a few months ago. But there's a few patterns in here I wanted you all to see. This is The Duck. It doesn't have a designer. I'm assuming the same lady wrote them all. I really like that one. Debating about making these that I'm showing you for Christmas. The next one is the monkey. He is super cute. Because it turns out I have a lot of little people in my life. And this is a pig. Not very creative names. But he looks like my brother. We should uh, maybe make that for him. What do you think? It's kind of a little joke we do for each other. He sends me cows and I send him pigs. This the dog draft cheater. I think my daughter Caroline would really enjoy this. She likes my mom's. She has this, um, oh, a dash hound dog draft, dog stopper, like draft stopper at home. And my daughter, she just loves it. Every time we go there, she has to carry around Wiener. That's what they've named him. And Wiener and her get along quite fine because Wiener doesn't complain. And then there's the girl rag doll. I really like that one. I'm thinking about making four of these. I know, crazy. Um, Chase's cousin's daughter, Z, plural. They have twins, Amelia and Clara. They're three, no, they're turning four. We see them on the second. They're turning four, and we're thinking that I could maybe whip these up in time. We'll see. That's how the plan is anyway. <clears throat> so that would be two to those girls. And then I was thinking about making two more of these for my cousin, for his girls, as a wedding gift. And then as soon as I get the dishcloths done, then their gifts are ready to go. And I just have to find time to drop them off. Plan is to have everything done before Christmas. Yeah, right. Then there's the boy rag doll. He's just really cute. It'd be fun to make that for James, but we'll see. And then there's the rabbits. I like them. I don't know. Y'all tell me what you think I should make. That makes it easier for me, maybe. Leave a comment and we'll find out. All right, it's time for the magic. It is. All right, so there were 10 entries, nine on the blog, or sorry, nine on Ravelry, and one on YouTube. I'm going to throw her in there because she comments all the time, or at least lately, it's been like three times in every, once in every episode. It's been really nice. And her name's Photogirl12, so we're gonna throw her in on the end. So there, there is n one, I think. Hmm. The last person to enter was number nine, and we have to forget myself, so I go to random number generator, and I type in two and ten, and let's see who wins. Prize number one shall be, let's go with the yarn. Yeah. You guys remember that pretty yarn, the purple one? I can't reach it from now. Right now it's up on the shelf. 
but let's see who wins. <gasps> Number three. So that's Scarlet Pearls. She wins the yarn. And you are from, where are you from, Scarlet Pearls? Your name is Stacy, and you're from Redding, California. If you get a hold of me, PM me on Ravelry, and I'll try to get it shipped out as soon as possible. All right, let's see who wins. Hmm, the bag. You're gonna pick anyone from my Ravelry or from my Etsy shop. Let me know which one you want. And let's see. Number seven. That's Creativia. She was my swap partner a while ago. She is in, oh, I wish I could remember. Too many swap partners. Um, her name is Lynn Catherine, and she is from Spatsburg, Oxford, Norway. And she won the bag. All right, let's see. Who gets the stitch marker? Will we see? Let's see? Number two, brown coat. Brown coat, where are you from? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Your name is Patricia and you're from Redding, California also. That's awesome. All right, so if y'all could get a hold of me as soon as possible, um, PM me on Ravelry. That would be wonderful. So, do y'all know how to get a hold of me? Maybe? Okay, so, you can get a hold of me on Ravelry as Angel Ellens. Um, you could leave a message in the group at Dark Angel e -Nits. Um, Be sure everybody can leave messages in the group. Le start your own thing. It's fine. I would love to see comments. I, I want to get to know y'all. Y'all take the time to watch me, so I would love to get to know you all. I'm sorry about the lighting, it's been terrible, but that's it's life. Alright, so in the com or in the not in the comments, in the credits below you'll see the rest of my stuff because my brain is leaving and my kids are trying to climb up the stairs on me. Alright, so until next time oh wait, next time will be hopefully the first week of December. Plan one. Fingers crossed, it works out with the move. We move next Saturday. So hopefully everything works out that way. All right, until then, I'll see you. Bye.